everything all the time? I can't I help it, but I do want to. I do want to say something to you. I brought you a gift. Oh. Because there is only a few people that I can re-gift things to. All right? <laughs> and the reason is, is because we share something. We share actually many things in common. Damn. But I would like for you to go ahead and open this up. Now okay. I got two. Okay. So I'm being honest with you. Are I'm these best friend necklaces? Are, are we getting married? <laughs> I think I'm that's so already, in. I think that's gonna happen. <laughs> anyway, go ahead and you'll see why in a minute. Okay. Um, remember. Oh my god. Okay, so we have the same initial. We d I know I was literally when I sent the video memo today, I was like from Casey to Casey. I thought it was so clever. It's not that oh. funny. I got but three of these three! Oh, so you'll have you beat them all. I love it! Wait, is this for jewelry? Or like what is this? What it what you do is you put them, you put them on your shoe, and just so you know, Katie Kurt got the other one. Oh, <laughs> there we go, the other Casey. I actually know a lot of people with our initials. Really? It's weird. <laughs> what in the world? It sounded like a gremlin got out. <laughs> it's the kookaburra. It's the kookaburra. I can't say what the I can do it. I actually practiced doing him last. Oh, okay, wait, can you harmonize with that? Do you think if we played it, could you harmonize with the kookaburra? Okay, Robert, yeah. Bendy, can you bring the bird out? I'm gonna harmonize with Kristen. <laughs> Come on, we're gonna harmonize. We're gonna do it. We can this do is it. So exciting, oh, oh, <laughs> Look, it's good my size. Uh, <laughs> All right, it, okay, he might not make a sound now. Mo won't. But hey, can we play it? We're gonna try. This is the sure. sound. This is it. Okay. Definitely. That was very good. You are truly one of those people that just lights up the room, like every room you walk in. And I, I feel like we're similar in the sense of like we're both kind of like bubbly all the time. But yeah. are you always like that? No. I'm not. No. I think it's and I think it's important to say this. Um, I'm, it, people think there's a conception about me and probably you too that it's rainbow. Rainbows and unicorns and glitter all the time, mm. but I'm human and I've I've struggled with sadness and even I've suffered from depression. Depre depression. Yeah. And um, people are like, really, that that can't be real. But it, I do, and I I have tools that help me. First of all, I have counseling. I have a great mom that I talk to, and yeah. I have a great group of core girlfriends that really listen. Mm -hmm. And and I think that's and I I have faith. And, and for whatever faith is for everybody else, mine's God, so that helps. What else is confused is it can happen from sometimes left field, and it can be a small thing that mm -hmm. kind of makes me go, I'm sad. And you pull yourself out of yes. it. You put your big girl panties up, or you take the time and be sad and move through it. I think you have to do that. I think that you need to ask someone clapping. I also wanted to talk to you, though, because I know you're dating. Yes. You're dating, so like, are you getting married? And do you want to tell us now? <laughs> <laughs> Girl, no. talk. Yeah. Um, you know what? I, I, not to get weird, but I think that also it's important to say this, especially to our younger fans and younger generations of women. I, I come from the Bible Belt in Oklahoma, very proudly so. But with that means that you're supposed to get married, have oh. 2.5 kids, and live in the picket. Um, you know, white picket yeah. fence house. And I didn't, I didn't choose that for my life. I had other goals and. And, and at first, it was always a shame. Like, I shouldn't tell people that maybe I'm not sure about having children or even maybe getting married. And I've had great men in my life. I've got a great one right now. Marriage might be the deal. It might. But it's never what's been my... It hasn't been what's defined me mm -hmm. or driven me. And for a long time, I was shameful about it. Yeah, especially from where we're from. Because of where we're from. Yeah. And also... Thank did people, you. Did people always think you were gay? People thought I was gay forever. I've had but some because... boyfriends to make me wish I was gay, but no. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> me too. No, I'm yeah. not. And as far as like people will go, you're not going to have a child. And it's, it's almost like, oh, selfish. But I take care of a lot of kids. I have many cousins. I have godchildren I take care of. And this is also important to say, as an adopted child, if I ever want to, if I have that so desire one mm -hmm. day and I wake up and I say, maybe I miss the boat or maybe I want to do that. There's been so many great examples of women who've done that. Um, and I would, I would just adopt a, a child. There's many people. And I, 
the thing about the thing about that too is one that you're picked. Like my mom just got stuck with me. <laughs> like you were picked. They do <laughs> like, say you're chosen. You. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's like really cool. It's a special feeling, and I've always known it about my adoption. And you know, my family—they're all chemical engineers and real tall, and you know, they don't sing. <laughs> they don't sing, and they should never sing, actually, ever. <laughs> but I don't do math. But we learn from each other, you know. That's awesome. <laughs> that's so great. All right, well, tell us about your new album because I want it. Well, it's called For the Girls. I made okay. a record for the girls, by the girls, all the women that have inspired me. Um, you know, we're talking Leslie Gore, Judy Garland, Barbara Streisand. We're talking Eva Cassidy. Love. Um, we're talking a lot of the greats. And I did it my way, but I paid, I tipped my hat to the greats. And on, because I'm a woman, I asked Jennifer Hudson and Reba to sing it with me. Yeah. And then I did I Will Always Love You with Dolly, which I can't Gosh, believe. Gosh, that is insane. I, my extensions fell out of my head <laughs> when she said yes. And She's the loveliest human ever. That's the best compliment ever. Has anyone ever met anyone that doesn't She's like Dolly? She's the nicest Huck? human in the world. Uh, yeah. The nicest. Yeah. And you also, this is what I find interesting. You actually, you know, you have a duet with Ariana, but you've known her since she was little, right? Since she was seven years old, Ariana Grande. She came, there we are. We did Hairspray oh. Live together. I love that child. And she came back to see Wicked. Her grandma brought her and she said, my, my granddaughter wants to sing. And I said, oh, well, that's sweet. You know, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Then she Worldwide kind of, superstar. I was like, okay, we'll see. And then she kind of sang that thing, and I was like, oh, I checked myself because yeah. she was really good. And I said, here's a little wand because I created the role of Glenda. And I said, keep that with you and, and have that with you. And she kept it all these years. We've stayed close. And I, I wanted to bring I wanted to bring her in the record, and we did You Don't Own Me, Leslie Gore's wow. tune. And it's, I'm so proud of her. Yeah. I love oh her. Oh, my God, that's so cool. That's so cool. Thank you. I mean, it's it's super, super great. So when are you taking the album to Broadway? When can people see it? It's in people, November, right? Yeah, the first two weekends in November, I'll be playing on Broadway with For the Girls and have very, very special guests come. And it's at the Nederlander Theater, and you can get tickets now, and please come see oh it. Oh, my God, it's going to be great. Here's the funny thing, though. We both have, like, Broadway in common. and Because yeah. we both grew Well, you you have, like, actual Broadway. <laughs> and then I just grew up in musical theater. But I love that you very love Very different. It. Um, <laughs> but my point is, is I remember my very first musical when I was a little kid, I was like, Oh, we're okay. So we're just gonna break out in song, like <laughs> like we were just talking, and then we're just gonna break out in song. Yeah, and we then call we're that a Monday. Back. We call that a Monday on Broadway. I know, but it's so awkward. It's a beautiful thing. But I was like, how awkward is that? That you just like go all of a sudden in song. How can it be? I feel like I have known her forever. Could she be? She'll like the crazy thing though yeah. about this is now you're in a movie. Yeah, with Scott Wolf, yeah. and you're doing the Hallmark thing. Yes, I love Hallmark Christmas movies. Oh my movie. God, this is a good movie. Scott Wolf's in it, and his dreamy blue eyes. And I wrote the title song for it. You'll love it. Oh my, what's the title song called? Uh, a Christmas Love Story, Hallmark. Oh Watch my it. God, that's so great. It all makes sense. <laughs> I'll never be. choir thing. That's oh, crazy. So yeah. you sing with them. The Tabernacle Choir is a rite of pat. You need to do it, girl. You're cooler than me. Let's just no, get this over with. If that's going to happen, I'll, I mean, I'll help. So them. how did you get involved with They them? asked me to do it, so I finally took the opportunity, and I got to do it. Gosh. And it comes on in Christmas. Oh, I finally found her. Yes, you found me. And we'll, and we'll always be. I love having I you love here. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please don't make me keep going.